Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? And welcome back. We're gonna be doing a review today of a digital thermometer. This is from a company called Amzo. And we're gonna take a look at this on Amazon. And then, you know what? We gotta compare this against something. So I've decided every time I get one of these that I'm going to compare it against, you got it, the Thermal Pen 1. That's right, so every single one of these is gonna go against the Thermal Pen 1. And you're gonna say, how are we gonna do that, Tom? Well, we're gonna do it with a nice test to see how fast they read 32 degrees. And that's gonna be the best way of doing it. So Thermal Pen 1, this is, and we'll take a look at it online against the AMZO. And we'll take a look at that online too. <laughs> Should be interesting. All right, let's take a look at the AMZO there. It is 15 bucks, but they have 20% off right now. So that gets in the $13 range. Uh, let's let's see, right here, they're saying response time, three seconds. So they're, they're, it seems like they're being honest with the ultra fast, high accurate. Temperature two to four seconds is accurate within one degree. Uh, that's really all I really need to know. Uh, when it comes to doing our test here is, you know, what what is it rated for and what do they expect it to do? Remember, this is like 13 bucks. All right, and there's the Thermopen 1, and you're seeing it right in the first sentence with full readings in one second or less. 90 bucks, I think I paid over 100 for it. Uh, so for 90 bucks, we're going to compare it against something that's 13 bucks. The one that's 13 bucks says three seconds and plus or minus one. Uh, we're saying one second readings here. Yeah, let's look at the what they're saying for the tolerance is uh, 0.5. So a half a degree, plus or minus. So uh, let's start the test. All right, some of you are gonna ask why ice and not hot water. The, the, the point on hot water is that depending upon your elevation, it boils at different temperatures. So ice is always 32. You know, ice water is always 32. And I learned how to do this ice test from my good friends at Thermal Works that makes the thermal pen. So there's a specific way of doing this. You could have crushed ice, water, insulated glass. It's got to sit for a certain amount of time to make sure the water is all getting to be the same temp. And then when you insert the tip, when we insert the tip in the water, you, you have to slowly stir it. That way you're not taking any of the ambient temperature off that tip and heating up that water and throwing off the readings. Remember this one, they sell thermal pen one as something that can read within one second, folks. This one they're saying one to three seconds. So we're gonna see, this one is 13, this one's 13 bucks. This one, as you saw, is currently 90 bucks. Let's see which one. And in the comments down below, you can tell me which one you would pick. All right, got them both up. You can look at the displays here. The, the thermal panel one appears to be a little bit bigger, but you can see the, the digital, uh, the AMZO one pretty good too. They both have backlights. The, the one on the AMZO, to be honest with you, I kind of like it a little bit better because it's, uh, it, it, it's uh, blue as opposed to, I just, I don't know. To me, I can see it better. So you know, that's, per, you know, that's personal opinion right there. But uh, let's start with the ice bath test. All right, Challenger goes first. Here's the AMZO digital thermometer. We're going to turn on the backlight here. And we're, we are going to stir it as we get to insert it. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. So it's stabilized, just as they said, within about 3 seconds. And uh, never really read 32 degrees. But uh, got within half a degree, like they said it does. So... 13 bucks, that's pretty quick. I, I would agree with the three seconds. Now let's go to the, the thermal pen. All right, thermal pen one, same thing. I'm just gonna, remember this is supposed to be one second. So count, count along with me. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Pretty fast, 32 degrees. I think it was about two seconds to be honest with you. What do you think? I'm sure you'll leave a comment. I'll, I'll tell you what, let's, <laughs> Give you my final thoughts. All right, so they're both on sale, 90 bucks versus 13 bucks. Uh, you know, a lot of people are gonna say, well, Thermalworks does have some high quality products and this isn't a fair comparison because this is, you know, obviously supposed to last longer than five year warranty with it. Uh, this I believe has a one year warranty on it. But for, if, for people like me, who's an amateur, and I'm, I'm just that, I'm just an amateur. I, you know, I bought this because I wanted to show you a comparison to you folks. 
And uh, I bought it, really, I bought it because they said it was one second. And to this day, I still don't believe it's one second. It's fast, but when you make the claim of one second, and it's not one second. So that, that bothers me. These people were honest about it and said two to four seconds, three seconds more like it. And I agree, it was three seconds. Plus, plus or minus one, one degree, it was plus or minus one degree. They say one second, plus or minus half. I, it wasn't one second, it was definitely plus or minus half. In fact, it got down to 32. So as far as I'm concerned, it was dead nuts on. A uh, couple more features with this. You can, can, can do 360, can't do it with this. But once again, is it apples versus or, you know apples versus apples here? It's kind of apples versus oranges. A lot of people are tempted to spend the big bucks here. Think about how many of these you could buy for the price of this and how long they'll last. So I'll tell you what, folks, I think it's a pretty good deal for 13 bucks on sale. Check them out on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. Let me know. Let me know. Like I said a couple times, let me know which one you would pick. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Thumbs up, leave a comment, as you always do, and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, folks.